What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, after last night's fiasco, you guys came out in force and we have success. So we do have Hive OS booted. We have our four cards showing up in Hive OS and the ethernet is working. Well, how do we do it? Well, kudos to the community, but actually kudos to one individual. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, you guys came out in force with your comments, giving recommendations on hey, you can use like the M2 slot and you can, uh, for additional PCIe, or you can uh, use like an M2 to uh, NIC um, kind of card, or even something like this, uh, which I had available, a gigabit um, a PCIe card, but I didn't end up needing it, which is awesome. But we do have all four of our cards up and running. Hive OS is not configured yet, um, but we're gonna go ahead and work on that today uh, and we'll get some overclock settings in. We'll take a look and see how these cards do. You can see that I do have one card, the 1060, wired with HDMI. And uh, the reasoning behind that is whenever this board, when the NIC decides to stop working, um, which is a common, I mean, if, if I boot this thing maybe 20 times, a quarter of the time it will boot correctly uh, and the NIC will work, but the other 75% it will not. So there actually is a command within Hive OS uh, if you get to this screen that you can run, but you need to have video. So my board does not have onboard because I'm running in a Ryzen 3. It doesn't have onboard uh, graphics. So I needed to hook up one of my cards in order to run this command. And I'm gonna go over that command in just a second on the computer. And then we're also gonna go ahead and overclock these cards and get them mining Ethereum. So huge shout out to the community. I do appreciate you guys. You guys are, as always, insane. Look at that wiring mess, it's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and let's take a closer deep dive at how we fixed it and then take a look at our hash rate. Alrighty guys, so we are over on the computer. Um, I wanted to show you exactly where we stand. Um, and as you can see, I actually renamed my rigs. <laughs> uh, I decided to name them after X-Men. Uh, I was actually watching a um, interview with Elon Musk and he was talking about how in their factory, they name all of their robots after X-Men. So I was like, that's a really cool idea. So for our 12 GPU rig, uh, we renamed it to Colossus. And because of all the trouble this current 4 GPU rig has given me, I've renamed it to Havoc, uh, which I thought was appropriate. So this is up and running. Uh, we're going to configure this in just a second. Um, but I want to talk a little bit about how we fix this, just in case this can benefit anyone else uh, within the mining community. So if you guys aren't familiar... Um, I'd like to recommend this individual's YouTube channel. They went ahead and reached out to me. Max Voltage uh, is the name um, of the YouTube channel. And I'll put a link to his uh, channel down below. Um, he has a lot of videos here and there that he pumps out that you, are kind of these one-offs that you don't realize how valuable it is. And the one that we came across, he actually reached out to me and said, you know, hey, um, this is, you know, kind of... Uh, how I fix it and how he's gotten by. So the video title, how I enabled my 2.5 gigabyte ethernet port on Linux and Hive OS. So this is exactly what we ran into. So he has this video and in this video um, to follow along a little bit. So if you can get video, which is what I showed you guys with the HDMI cable off of the 1060, once you get video uh, and your, let's say your ethernet's not working, and I would say out of the 20 times that I booted my PC, five times it booted right and it worked out well, but 15 times it didn't. That's on average. So if you come in without doing anything and you type in ifconfig, uh, I believe this command is the interface config, uh, it's going to go ahead and show all your interfaces. So the first interface, eth0, is, and that stands for ethernet0, is our, is our LAN. So that tells us what that, that it, what that is. So then if you come down and if you do ifconfig eth0 down, so you almost shut the port from an OS level. And then you reverse it and do ethconfig, or I'm sorry, ifconfig eth0 up. So it's just literally ifconfig eth0 down and put it up and bam. It instantly works. Um, so huge shout out to this guy. Look at this handsome man with a plaid shirt. 
huge shout out to him um, for reaching out to me. Short term, our solution is is when and if we have to boot this thing. We hope we never ever have to ever again. But that's you know that's not true as a miner. Um, we will use this solution, just shutting the port and turning it back up, and that'll correct it. It takes all of an extra thirty seconds to a minute. I was informed by him as well. He reached out individually, and he let me know that um, there is a firmware update, but you have to have a Windows uh, 10 OS running, and then you have to extract the the firmware from a driver, um, and then you have to use a tool to upload it to the, to the NIC. So there's a whole spielio, which is more of a long-term solution, but... Shout outs to Max Voltage. Um, I will put his link down below, guys. Please go over and show him uh, some definite love. So let's go ahead and jump over to our farm. And we finally have our four cards here. So we have one lonely Radeon RX 580. We'll have a second one coming here shortly. Uh, this is the XFX version. The one that is uh, in the mail literally right now is the one I got uh, repaired. That's the uh, Sapphire Nitro. RX 580, 8 gigs, so that'll be here shortly. And um, we'll add that to this rig. Uh, in addition, we have the GeForce GTX 1060, 6 gig, um, and that's running your Micron memory. We also have the GeForce GTX 1650 Super uh, in there as well. And then we finally have the GeForce RTX 2080 Super uh, that we do have available in this rig, um, which is that uh, 8 gig card. So uh, our plan is, is that we're going to go ahead and get some overclock settings in. Um, so give me just a few minutes here. It'll be seconds for you guys. I'm going to pop in some overclock configuration settings and uh, we'll return back. We'll review those and then we'll, we'll start mining with our rig. So I'll be back in just a second, guys. Alrighty, So we are up and running. Um, you guys can see that one of my cards is not hashing right now. I have spent way too much time time trying to get this uh, configured um, tonight. So I'm going to spend a little more time tomorrow trying to get it working. So the 1650 is going to be um, mining either uh, Ethereum Classic or Ravencoin. Um, but at this point right now, I've been having some weird problems with uh, adding it into the flight sheet. But I'll show you guys some of the configurations that we are running. So our RX uh, 580 is getting about 31.8 mega hash. Uh, our 1060 is 20.13. Granted, we do have video plugged into that, uh, and that's mining Ethereum. And then our 2080 Super is mining Ethereum as well at 45.22. Um, so other than that, things are running well. Uh, where the challenge comes into it, guys, is applying your flight sheets. So as you guys can imagine, for my AMD, the RX 580, um, we have to have a, a uh, flight sheet configured with Team Red Miner, of course, and you actually have to set in there which card for this to use, which is device zero for AMD. Then we have to have a second miner added, Ethereum, and for T-Rex miner, and you have to say devices zero and two. That's the other two cards. So now the last one we have left is to add device one, which is our 1650. And I'm having some trouble getting that working. Uh, we will get it working. We will get successful here um, tonight, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys sooner than later. Um, but I'm super happy to get this thing up and running that last card. I'm determined to get it um, off to the races and mining right now. Um, good temps right now. I'm right around, you know, 65 for my fan speeds. And look at that. We got 49 or I'm sorry, 59, 45 and 47, which is awesome. And our, and look at our, um, power 93 on the, on the 580. 82 on the 1060 and the 2080 super a little bit more of an exception but 123 which is still good for 45 mega hash uh in there overall super happy to have a second rig up and running uh, mighty mouse was you know decent our little rig we had but it's, it's actually nice to actually have a decent setup there so in total um our farm right now is running just shy of 100 mega hash of ethereum as well as 160 mega hash of Ravencoin. We did make the swap uh, this past week after the whole ETC swap. 
um, and kind of uh, all the changes that occurred. You know, we were on ETC for a few days and uh, with all the gas changes and stuff, we swapped over to back to Ravencoin and Ethereum is super profitable right now. So swap back to Ethereum. So kind of playing that game a little bit there. Um, but other than that, guys, super excited uh, to be diving into this and to be getting our second rig up and running. So between now and a future video, I do want to get that other flight sheet um, working properly on our Havoc build. Once again, naming our builds off of uh, named after X-Men, which I think is pretty cool and a lot of fun. So I will have that 1650 Super up and running here tonight. And then we will have our fifth card, uh, which I'll be doing a video on. I want to do a hash rate video on it because it's my first Sapphire Pulse uh, that I've owned. Uh, and so it'd be interesting to do a kind of comparison with the XFX um, RX 580 8 gig uh, that we do have right now, putting down 31.85. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.